Hello everybody and welcome back to Coombe Valley Campus. We are here at the iconic Delaware Pavilion in Bexhill-on-Sea. We're about to give you a van tour on this van behind me that I have called Eleanor and I'll tell you why. When we first started filming for the Coombe Valley Campers YouTube channel, the first thing we ever filmed was this van behind us. And if you've been watching the channel, you know that that was just over two years ago. And that's probably the reason why I've called this van. To me, I've called it Eleanor. If you've ever watched the film Gone in 60 Seconds with Nicolas Cage, Eleanor is the 67 Mustang that he just can't get without having some sort of trouble. And I'm not gonna lie, this van on and off has taken me two years to finish, but it is extra special. I cannot wait to show you it. It's got, well, everything has been modified from the roof all the way down to the suspension. We've worked with loads of people. We've done loads of videos on it. But first of all, let's show you the outside. This vehicle then originally started as a late model T4 long wheelbase panel van. It had no windows, no pop-up roof. It was just a nice vehicle. And when the owner first came to me, he said, look, I'd like a bit of bodywork done and maybe a camping interior, but that soon escalated to what you see us, what, what you see behind me. So starting from the top then, we have a full height elevating roof from poptoproofs.co.uk. And the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that you can't see any struts and you can't see any hinges. And that's one of the reasons we chose this roof because it's such a beautiful finish on the outside that you don't have all of those ugly struts and things like that, the mechanical parts. So it's just this beautiful canvas. You'll also notice on the side that we've got the Fiamma F45S awning in black. That was purchased from Heritage Parts Centre as well as the brackets. And we've actually covered that in a video and we can leave the link down in the description. All the windows were cut in and uh, fitted by Mr. B's Body Shop. Chris at Mr. B's, you, wait, you will remember from our VW T4 lowering video. Again, we'll put the link down in the description. And yeah, we've got one, two, three, four fitted all the way around. And he, this has got barn doors on the back but he decided not to have windows on the back. And we'll show you that in a, in a minute. The bodywork didn't look like this when the van first came to us. And that has been beautifully finished. I mean, fully restored by Gazza Hurst down at JDI Bodyworks in uh, Bexhill. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's a standard metallic VW blue. I'll have to find out the paint code for you, but it just looks gorgeous. And I have a very hard time keeping it clean and not scratched and everything else. Um, but one of the reasons why we had this for two years is because I actually dented the sill. It was probably one of the worst days of my life. And we were jacking this up to do something. And the bloody van fell off the jack and it went right on that sill. So we had to sort it out. So this has had to go back to Gaza. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those vehicles that's just kept biting back at me all the time. But the owner has been extremely patient with us. And as you can see the results now, they're just, it's just a beautiful van. I wasn't lying when I told you that all these parts or nearly every panel on this vehicle has either been played with or modified. And this spoiler in particular is one that has been custom uh, designed and built really. The actual spoiler came as one piece, but the owner specified that he wanted some brake lights in. So Gazza over at JDI crafted these shapes and we've inset these LED lights and we'll show you how they all light up. The rear barn doors, again, we haven't put the windows in because of the customer requests. We've put some uh, step protectors on here. The custom plates are from the customer and we've got these rear towel light clusters from VW Monkeys and they're good friends of Coombe Valley Campus as well. We've got a reversing camera that ties into the actual rear view mirror because there's no windows in the customer required that he'll always have a rear view um, despite not having the glass but it ties up the back end beautifully. Moving around to the long side of the vehicle then we've got the 240 volt hookup point and we tried to keep it as discreet as possible. So we've got it in the black and it's a, of a more modern design. We've kept the wheels, uh, but Gaza has refurbished those and painted them. 
But what we did realize, once we put all the new interior in and the pop-up roof and everything else, the back end sat really, really low. So again, thanks to v -Dub Monkeys, we've got some new springs in the back and that's raised the level up just a little bit. And so it's now equal front to rear. We've got the side steps as well. In fact, we did a video on those. And again, you can check down in the description. Also, we covered this in a video as well, the nice little uh, window protectors. And uh, yeah, that just gives that extra little bit of protection for the driver. I think now's the time, we'll take you inside. When it comes to building a camper, most people actually forget about the cab. And that's where you spend a lot of your time, isn't it? You know, driving to and from your location. But the owner did specify that he wanted this quite a luxurious place. And we haven't held back at all. If we're starting from the roof, we've got this beautiful suede liner headliner that ties in with the new roof. Coming down from there, that is the uh, rear view mirror that we fitted and that's actually got a front facing camera and it ties in with the reversing camera that we showed you earlier. In the center of the dash, we've managed to fit in a double din stereo. And if you know your T4s, there's two ways you can put that double din stereo. This time we opted to remove the top vents and actually make sure that that screen sits higher up in the dash and uh, nice and easy to access and it manages to keep all your little cubby holes there at the same time. We've covered the steering wheel in one of these liners, again down to the custom customer specification, actually uh, has restored the wheel quite nicely. Um, it was a little bit worn and a bit shiny before. The wood trim we've kept, not my, not my taste really, but uh, again the owner wanted to keep that and that actually runs nicely through the doors. Looking at the doors, in fact, crikey, we have done some stuff to this van. Uh, the door cards are new, new used, because the last ones were really sun damaged. So we managed to source a really good pair of these for both driver and passenger. We've added the side pods, the speakers, the cup holders were there, but these, actually, these door handles themselves, they're brand new. And I think we've done a video on those as well. Gosh, we have really covered this van. But the nicest piece of this interior for me bar the beautifully restored seats by David Powell upholstery is actually the cab mat. And again, that's a part that was available from Heritage Parts Centre and uh, just really finishes off that cab nicely and takes it away from that commercial look of the rubber mat that's down on the floor. Centre console by, center console by Vanex as well. Um, but as a piece of resistance, every seat in this vehicle actually has a heated seat element in it. And I'll show you the switches around the other side. Oh, nice captain's seat. Yeah, really nice place to be in here. So yeah, this is the uh, doubled in stereo. It's actually like a like an Android tablet, really. And you've got GPS on there, DAB stereo, you can play video, all sorts of stuff. And it's really sort of modernized the vehicle. I think it just had a tape player and CD changer under the seat when it first came to us. So in this Vanek center console, which is probably one of the nicest ones out there that I've seen. Um, we've managed to fit in our switches here for the heated seats. We've got heated seat pads on both sides of this passenger seat. We've got heated pads on the driver's seat as well. And again, you can just see all the beautiful finish on that carpet too. Um, and it was just a case of cleaning it up really. We've done so with the carpeted A pillars there and that ties in really, really nicely with the back of the van and I look forward to showing you that. Oh, last but not least, the seat actually spins, and we'll show you that in a minute. The main attraction then, and why you all came here really, is the interior. Now, before I open it, this is one of the bits that's taken the longest because we've scratch built everything. We didn't buy the interior in, we didn't buy the rock and roll bed in. Um, we've adapted and customized loads of pieces to make what you see here today. Lounging in style then. Again, this has been completely scratch built and mainly around the fact that it is a long wheelbase vehicle and it's quite hard to find a decent interior for a long wheelbase vehicle. Um, but also this really wide rock and roll bed. Um, it looks a bit peculiar, doesn't it? It's quite low, but we've adapted this out of a um, American Chevy van and it's electric. We've got a set of controls here and I can slide the seat forward and back and it will move down into its bed position electrically 
and the other two switches down here is because this seat pad is heated, this seat pad is heated, and so are the pads in the back. So yeah, quite luxurious in here. Whilst we're concentrating down here, we've got the con we've got the controls for the um, MV Aero diesel heater that sits under the seat. We've got a couple of USB points, and then we've got some light switches that control this light here, the light out the front, and in fact the light. The left hand switch actually controls the USB points. Moving over to the right hand side, you can see that we've got a CBE PC210 controller. It's kind of like a touchscreen controller. And you can see that we've got um, full water tanks, full batteries, the uh, solar panels on the roof are actually charging the batteries. We've got the um, solar panel controller just in this little cabinet here. And it's just a really nice uh, convenient spot so you can keep all of your um, lighting controls, USBs, and a 240 point there as well. So you can have all of your utilities on the side. Right above me then, you'll notice that it's really quite high. Now, as part of the, uh, sorry, as part of the elevating roof from poptoproofs.co.uk, this bed actually sort of folds up into the roof space. So you've got a double bed up there and it'll fold up so you've got standing room and I can show you in a second how that folds flat again. Um, really nice space, we've put some lighting up there with some USB points as well, so when the kiddies stay up in the top room they've got plenty to keep them amused. Um, fully covered by LED lights on a dimmable controller all the way around so you can really get the mood uh, set with your lighting and we've got the curtains from Heritage uh, and SSP and we've done the video on those too. How about I just show you how some of this works. All the seat then that you see in front of you, that was retrimmed by David Powell upholstery and we've got the rear cushions to match. And the reason the interior is laid out the way it is, is because the seat can actually come all the way forward so you can close up the living space so you can have the table in the middle um, and you can have your seating area closer or you can push it obviously all the way back and you can maximize your bed space. So if I press this button down here, it actually have the bed will recline fully. How's that for posh? Look at that, electric rock and roll bed. I can't wait to show you these, ele these elements in the back because they're completely removable and it means you can have seating outside that's all inbuilt into your van. As any good camper should, we have the sink and a two ring burner. Now this is the Dometic Slimline one. It's actually a really good size sink for such a narrow, narrow unit, but because it's so slim, the sink does actually protrude quite low into the cupboard. Um, the water system itself, we've got an underslung 50 litre, or no, we've got an underslung 70 litre fresh tank, fresh water tank, and that's filled up by uh, a cap in the driver's step. And we've got a 50 litre waste tank as well. So um, plenty of water on the move. We've got a nice little space here for your cutlery. And again, you can see the impact of that deep sink because it's quite a shallow draw, but we've had to uh, make some sacrifices somewhere. Isotherm 12 volt compressor fridge. Perfectly suited for the space. And then we have the nice cupboard in the bottom there too. Behind the roller shutter door you see down there is the gas bottle and that is housed within a gas safe metal locker as well. And I think that's pretty much it for the inside. Um, like we say, we've got the, the bed up in its upright position. We've got some extra storage at the back there. And in fact, why don't I take it around the back? I can show you that rear locker and also how we've built the back so you can actually have some seating when you're camping. One of the first things you'll notice then is the nice six by nines in the door. We've got one each side and that finishes off the interior stereo system nicely. But looking in the back, again, we've it's a different layout than you'd normally see with a normal rock and roll bed. We've still managed to keep a slimline interior down one side, but we've got the nice wide bed. And the way this is different is the fact that you can completely remove your cushions completely remove the rear boxes and you have a storage space in the back of your van 
if you need to carry a mountain bike or anything else really. And then with these two parts removed from the vehicle, once you've got your table set up, you've got some nice seating when you're in the campsite straight away. It's part of your interior. And then when it's bedtime, you just pop them back in again. The last real area to show you, nothing too exciting, but we've still managed to fit a nice little locker in there as well. So you can hang up some garments or just keep some parts for storage under here. We have all of our electronics. We've got fuse panels, circuit breakers, and your 12 volt to 240 volt charger. So from here, it's gonna go back to the owner. He's gonna use this to its fullest with his young girls and just enjoy it for what it was always intended. To me, this will always be Eleanor because it always fought me at every step. But for the owner, this is now his camper van and he can enjoy it. So there we have it. We are back in the same spot that we started over two years ago. I know it's been a long time. Very fortunately for me, I have a very understanding customer. So thank you to you. If you're watching, this is it. We're done. We're very happy with it. And thank you everybody for watching. We've done lots of videos on this. If you want to try and do any of the parts that we've done. So we've got the sidebars, the awning, the windows, so many things we've done on this van and then all the videos are down in the description thanks once again and what we're going to finish on now is some beautiful rolling shots for you to feast your eyes on see you next time